as per scientists about 5 billion years from today when our sun burns up all its hydrogen fuel in its core. It will become a massive red giant. In this expansion, it will consume first three planets of our solar system, Mercury, Venus and planet Earth. And this is how our planet Earth will come to an end. This process was just a theory until now when astronomers observed this happening to another star like our sun in another solar system inside our galaxy. So let's explore this entire event. This entire event was observed by astronomers from Zwigi Transient Facility using WM Keck Observatory recently. Scientists had earlier observed other various stages of this event but never ever seen a star consuming a planet. We are talking about a star named ZTF SLR in 2020 in Aquilia constellation which is about 12,000 light years from us. When astronomers saw lightning around this star initially, they thought it was a nova explosion. Nova explosion occurs when a dead star like white dwarf steals the matter from its companion star. However, when scientists did a follow-up observation, it occurred that it was not an explosion, but the dust and gas around the star was cooler than the star itself. If it was an explosion, then it would have been the same temperature as that of the star. They kept observing this for a year, and later it was concluded that the dust and gas was actually another planet in that solar system. That dust was created when the spiraling planet pulled hot gas from the star that drifted out and cooled, and as the planet disintegrated, even more material was added to the dust cloud. Then in search of more clues, the researchers reached out to NASA's near-Earth space telescope to confirm whether in this event really the star have consumed its planet. In this dramatic event, astronomers named this star as that star because in order to consume the planet, it had expanded its size and increased its brightness by hundreds of times. But in reality, some energy of planet was transferred into the star which increased its size and brightness. Unfortunately, our solar system will also face the same fate like that planet in approximate 5 billion years from now. But in our case, Mercury, Venus and our planet Earth will be engulfed by our sun, but humans will survive by that time to see it is a different story. However, one question arises after this event that how come a star becomes so massive and red giant suddenly? The immense pressure and temperature in the star's core ignites nuclear fusion in which hydrogen atoms fuses into helium atom. The star's gravity tries to pull stuff inside of it and nuclear fusion tries to push everything out like an explosion. It appears like a tug of war in which one side is the gravity and other side is the nuclear fusion. And this is how balance is maintained in the star. Nuclear fusion prevents a star to collapse under its own gravity. There is a point in star's life where it fuses almost all of the hydrogen atom in its core. As core collapses more due to gravity, it raises the temperature and pressure where star would have no other option in this case but to fuse helium into other higher elements like carbon and oxygen. In this fusion, not much energy is released as compared to hydrogen to helium fusion. This time, gravity wins over and star's core collapses. The star's crust expands hundreds of times and in few hundred thousand years, it dissipates and creates a nebula. We see such nebulas a lot in our universe. For example, the most famous one, Eagle Nebula. In the end, a small white dwarf star remains in place of sun's core, which is thousands of times smaller than actual star. A star which is 10 times or greater than our sun would create a neutron star, and 20 times or more bigger star would create a black hole. This entire process takes 8 to 10 billion years, beginning from star's birth to its death. We think that stars and planets are immortal. This is because they have lifespan of millions and billions of years as compared to human life. Through this event we got to see that universe can be dramatic and sometimes destructive place. 